if you get a house and you take one brick out of that house, it'll still stand, but it'll be weakened. If you take two bricks out, it'll still stand, but it'll be weakened. Subsequently, you can take enough bricks out until it collapses, and it'll still be stood up, and it'll look, to all intents and purposes, fine, but it won't be strong. It's exactly the same thing with biodiversity. The fact of the matter is we're currently facing a conservation crisis. More and more species are at risk of going extinct every single day, and many species are lost without even being known to science. If we look at this um, planet that we live on, this ball floating around, it's got this fantastic regulating system that regulates the climate, the water, the air, all these things that we take for granted. But the nonts and the bolts of the system are the species within it. The pied tamarins, for example, the black line tamarins, the fish, they're all part of the machine that keeps us on this habitable planet. So if we start chucking away the nuts and bolts and they start disappearing, ultimately, you know, from a selfish point of view, that's going to have an impact on us. You know, it's going to have a massive impact on us. Every day, more and more species are threatened with extinction, and the money raised from the Project for Austin would make a colossal difference to a small organisation like Durrell that is trying to stem a global tide. Durrell's mission is saving species from extinction, and that's something that's been the mission ever since the Trust was established in '63. We are a fast-moving, adaptive organisation that rush in, like, like the Accident and Emergency Conservation, that rush in when a species really needs somebody to try and restore it. I've been lucky enough to work with Durrell here in Jersey for a few days and frankly these have been some of the best days of my life. Being able to work with people who are passionate about the idea of conservation, the idea of saving species from extinction and just have an affinity with life on this planet. It's not like any other place in the world. I can say that with my hand on my heart and it's mainly due to the people that, that are attracted here. Nobody's here for the wages. People are here because they care and I think it shows you don't see species here that we don't think we can keep in captivity. Um, I defy anybody to go to a big cat exhibit anywhere in the world and, see, and not see an animal pacing. So for that reason you won't see big cats, you won't see much megafauna. The keepers here all have misgivings about captivity. Yes, as Gerald Durrell said, in an ideal world we wouldn't need animals in captivity. We wouldn't need endangered species in captivity. But we're far from that at the moment and we need them. And people need to get behind the good zoos that do conservation work and support them. I'd like to say that we're probably the most effective conservation organisation in the world for our size and the data does seem to back that up. We've undoubtedly, undoubtedly saved species from extinction and some of the most threatened species in the world, the Mauritius kestrel, was down to four individuals and only one breeding pair through uh, pioneering techniques like double clutching and soft release all under Cal Jones's kind of tenure. Um, that's gone up to now around 600 in the wild. Um, the Rodrigues uh, fruit bat, the Rodrigues flying fox, was down to 65 individuals in one tree. And it was brought back to, to Durrell in the 70s. Uh, now I think there's around 10,000 in captivity and 4,000 in the wild. So, you know, there, there's, that's, there's multiple species that are only here because of Durrell. Durrell is a small organisation and it will always stay that way in order to provide the most effective point conservation care, but the funds from the Project for Awesome would allow them to do their jobs so much better and expand their reach to the species which they feel need their help. It'd make a huge difference. You know, if we had an injection of £100,000, for example, that would allow us to run five, if not six, workshops in Brazil. That was means where we, we pay for the participants, the poor Brazilian uh, colleagues, to come organise the workshop, support the field that, that's going on for years to come. You've got to remember, £100,000 will go a long way in some of these arranged countries, for example, the Comoro Islands, Madagascar. We're working with the uh, Alawatran gentle lemur, a lemur that's only found in one marsh area in Madagascar. One of the things we do as an organisation is enable the passionate people on the ground to keep going. Here's why you should vote for Durrell for the Project for Awesome. Because the message here, the message of this place and this organisation is the most important, I think, of any charity in the world. The work that is done here is being done to save the soul of this planet.
It's being done to preserve the biodiversity, to preserve habitats all across the world, and to safeguard everything that we enjoy about this planet for our children and our children's children. It's our responsibility to protect those species and we, for future generations to see, you know, let's not let them not be just myths and stories that we tell our kids in the future, you know, rhinos once exist in, the, in Africa. We can do something about it now, let's do it, you know. Because we only have one planet. We can't just up sticks and move to Mars. If we screw up Earth, that's it. We've lost all of this. And I think it's worth fighting for, and it's worth supporting. That's why you should vote for Dara for the Project for Awesome.